Hello everyone, those who are new to this channel, I would like to give a short introduction about myself. My name is Sonam Kalonia and I have completed my Masters from Indian Institute of Technology, Bhuvneshwar and currently I am pursuing my PhD from Leipzig University, Germany. And I'm going to talk about PhD in Europe. So whenever you hear the word PhD from abroad, you must have multiple questions. For example, from where you should pursue your PhD, either from India or from abroad. What is the benefit of doing PhD from Europe? What is the funding system? What is the scholarship? The residence area, the visa, and all these questions I'm going to cover in the next few videos. And if I particular talk about this video, this video is more focused on hunting a PhD position in Europe. So let's get started. Keep on drinking till our bodies do the thinking. The mattress is always sinking. The headboard is always squeaking. She gives me all of the feelings. I think I began the healing. We're switching up. So before hunting or searching a PhD position, you must need to prepare your document. So your first document is your CV, your resume. And the second one is SOP, Statement of Purpose, which actually gives the examiner or selection committee an idea that why you are interested in that particular subject or particular topic only. And the third one is uh, the recommendation letters from your professors. The fourth one is your university degrees of your bachelor's and, from, and your master, of course. And the fifth one is publications, if you have any. You and what you do, you need somebody through and through to make it through. Trust me, I was lost. In so searching a PhD position, I personally categorize into two major categories. The first one is to search by a website and the second one is to directly ask from the professor. So if we talk about the first process, that is to search by websites, then I'm having a list of websites from where you can directly search the PhD position. That is a glass door, DAAD DAD, Keystone PhD study, Express Research, and the scholarship db.net academic position these websites are actually advertising the position already so you can get every information for example how many people they need for this particular position what they are looking forward about the candidate and all the information so you just need to upload your documents and the selection committee will decide whether you are fit for this particular position or not and if they find your CV or your application to be quite interesting then they will call you for the interview and after qualifying the interview the position is yours. Searching a PhD position from these websites are quite fast because you need not to waste your time in asking the professor whether they are having a particular PhD position or not. But at the same time, there are many disadvantages because they only require one person per position and there are more than 100 of applicants. So your chance of getting selection is quite low. So we need to move on to the second preference that is to ask from the professor. Exhausted, the coldness of the dating scene had me nauseous. I started getting toxic. So, here I'm going to give you a small tip if you don't know anything about the PhD position or the professor or the universities, then Google is going to be your best friend. You just need to type university in Germany or France or any of your particular interested country. So, there is going to be a list of universities. You need to check the QS ranking of every university and then after you need to check the chemistry faculty or the faculty, the list of faculty of your interested subject. Go to the website of the particular professor, read the content or the information which is provided and if you find it to be quite interesting or overlapping with your research interest, then just mail the professor and ask whether they are having the uh, position or not and whether the position is funded or not and every your doubt ain't it ironic became the problem that i hated could stop it mailing and professor and asking about the position is actually an art because the professor are really very busy they don't have time to read your whole mail and whole document because they receive more than 100 mails per day so your mail should be very short attractive informative and of course to the point
the subject of your mail must contain the group name for example the application of phd position in xyz group and the content of your mail should contain uh, the professor name never use dear sir or respected sir or madam you have to use dear professor dr xyz and then you can uh, divide or split your mail content into two paragraphs the first one should contain or should describe what you are and what you did in your bachelor's master from where you did that and the second one should contain that why you are interested in that particular group only and from where you come to know about this professor and then at the very end you can gently ask whether the professor is willing to consider your application or not and or is having a currently vacant position or not and then you can apply all your document or attach your all your document like your cv your sop your master degrees your master thesis if not thesis then it, it may, may contain your summary and then your recommendation letters and of course the publications which you have so one advice that i would like to give you is not to write a multiple application or multiple mail to the same university professors because it shows that you are not interested in that particular group you are just interested in grabbing the phd position from anywhere so yes you can write a mail to the another professor after receiving the answer from someone else or you hope this video is informative for you i would like to give you a best of luck for your future applications and phd position thank you very much for watching this video no, it's cheesy, but Jesus, you make my tongue off his features Good thing it works when I need it I'm always warm and you're freezing I heat you up in the evening You got my back, I believe it